We invite the people to join us for a visit to Pyere Patha before arriving at Pyere after going through many hardships and escaping many dangers on the way to Vandiyadevan. Let's stop on the south bank of Arisal and see the city. Damn! Is it just a city? Doesn't it look like an ornament hanging on the beautiful forehead of a Tamil Thai? The forehead studded with green emeralds, red gems, and blue stones is not like a mouse. Rivers, streams, lakes, and streams are overflowing with fresh water. Many colorful flowers are blooming in them. Coconut trees and palm trees spread cool greenery. In between, the golden domes of the starry bell towers and the golden stupas atop the temple towers shine. Dad! How many small towns are there in this one big city called Padayere? Towns like Nandipura Vinakaram, Tiruchathamutram, Patakuram, Arakandrapuram, and their temples are included in this Chola capital called Palyare. There are four Sivanar temples namely Vedathali, Kildhali, Murthali and South Thali in the four directions of Palayare. There are four Virapuras where the soldiers live, Ariyapada House, Pudpada House, Manipada House, and Bombayipada House. It was a separate mansion before Vijayalaya Chola. Then for each prince and each princess, a thousand eyes would have to see the new mansions rising up next to the old Chola Palace. The imagination of ten thousand poets is not enough to describe it. Lord Sekizar who came two hundred years back. If he described that, we can imagine how much this city would have been during Sundara Chola's time. However, when we first visit this legendary version, we cannot enjoy it in its full glory. Sundara Chola Emperor lived in the Chola mansion of this city and did not allow us to visit here during the government paid period. After the Emperor fell ill and went to Tanjore, the arrival of princes, royal ambassadors, chief ministers, and generals from abroad stopped. The entourage that usually accompanies them has also dwindled. Half of the warriors who lived in the four barracks were now establishing Tamil valour in the battlefields of Elam. Some of the others were in the northern border and another in Madurai. Rai. Therefore, the barracks were now mostly occupied by the elderly, women and children. The area of the city was deserted with locked houses as the Velayka soldiers living in Malavar Pati had left with their families for Tanjavur. All the ministers, vassals and officials who were running the affairs of the state went to Tanjapurai with their families. Despite all this, there was no shortage of crowd and excitement in the streets of Old Are. Now these streets were mostly frequented by temple stalwarts, sculptors, Shivanadiyars, Devara reciters, palace servants, temple workers, people from outside places who came to visit Swami Darshan in the temples and see the festival scenes. Today looks like something like a festival. Boys, girls and boys walk in the streets wearing beautiful clothes and ornaments. Crowds of people are standing here and there on the street corners. Among the groups, people dressed in some kind of costume stand and dance and sing. Let's take a look. Yes, they are disguised as Krishna and Gopalas. Is there a Krishna standing in the middle of this crowd carrying a mountain? Did Indra, the king of gods, come and worship him? In the middle of another crowd, four-faced Brahma came and worshipped Krishna. Aha! Now it seems. Today is Sari Jayanti, Kanan's birthday. People celebrate that festival with such gusto. There, Uriday Thirunal takes place. Yellow water is irrigated. Many of these festivals take place around the Nandipura Vinakarat Purumal temple. What is this? Who sings that? It's a familiar voice. Here is our old friend Alwarkadiar Nambai Sakshadkaram. He stands and sings. A mob gathers around him. Some listen with devotion. Others start playing drums. We fear whose head may be damaged by the hand of the Alwar KDR. A commotion at the door of the Vinakara temple. Chariots and palanquins parked on the street come to the temple gate. Some Matarisis come from inside the temple. These women must be women of great clans. Yes, yes. These are the queens and princesses living in the old palaces. First of all comes the champion Mathavi who is admired all over the country as Big Brat. She is the daughter of the Malavarayar clan, Mahishi is the title of Kandaradathar, the sage of Shiva. 
what Tejas shines on her face, even in her old widowhood. After him comes Rani Kalyani, daughter of Vaithumbarayar clan, younger sister of Aranjaya Chola. Aha! Tell me what his beauty is. Even in this old age, he throws such weeds in his face. How would he have been in his youth? Is it any wonder that his son, Sundara Chola, is known as a forester? He is followed by Sundara Chola's other younger sister Paranthagan Devi, daughter of Sher Aman. Still further behind, come the royal women who we have seen at the shore of Arizala, bowing down to the divine maidens who have come straight down from the sky. From the Vijayalayan period, the Chola dynasty worshipped Shiva and Durga as family deities. But they have no hatred towards Tirumal and other religions. It seems that today is Kanan's birthday and they came to Purumal temple. As the Pariye Bratha champion Mathavi was climbing the Palak, all Kadiar's song fell on his ears. It seems that Alvar Kadiar sang loudly for that reason. Sembian Mathavi made him come near him. All Kadiar came and stopped with a subdued expression. Tirumalai. Have we seen you for a few days? Did you go on a pilgrimage? He asked. Yes, mother. I went on a pilgrimage. I visited many places like Tirupati, Kanchi, Viranarayanapuram etc. I saw and heard many strange things everywhere I went. Come to the palace tomorrow and tell me the strange things you saw on your pilgrimage. No, mother. I must leave again tonight. Then come and go this evening. Come mother. There will is my blessing. All palanquins and chariots left and rushed to the palace. Kundave Prati pointed to Alwar Kadiar and said something, and the other queens laughed and said Kalir. Alwar Kadiar looked at the page to find the reason for the laughter. Kundave Prati's eyes spoke to Alwar Kadiyar in some Sanjeet language. Alwar Kadiyar bowed as a sign of knowing the news. Among the Chola mansions, the mansion where Sembian Mathavi lived was central. In its Sava Mandapam, the great old lady sat on a throne studded with Navarats, made of gold. A descendant of great Shiva devotees like Karakalamayar and Tilakavathayar, she was proving that she could live as a zealous Sila in the midst of immeasurable wealth, in the midst of Ashteshwariyam, wearing a white patada, wearing a vibe hoodie and a Rudrak Magarland. Although he did not wear a crown of pearls or other ornaments on his head, his majestic appearance and self-sparkling face showed that he was a king born into the royal clan and entered into the royal clan. Yet such reverential respect now had a taint. Madhurandik Devar, the son of that princess, disobeyed his mother's orders and married into the Pallavetarayar clan. Apart from that, the rumor that he was aspiring to the Chola throne also came to the ears of Sembian Mathavi and caused him some anxiety. In Sembian Mathavi's palace courtyard and Sava Mandapam, a group of sculptors and a group of Devar singers always used to gather as J.J. Shivandiyars and Tamil poets from distant lands used to come frequently and receive gifts. There will also be a large crowd of priests bringing offerings for Shiva Puja. On that day, sculptors and Shiva devotees came from Thirumudukan Ram, Viradachalam, Tenkarangaduthurai, Thirumalabadi etc. and requested the Maharani's help in doing black stone work on the temples in Tatam. They had brought pictures and toy temples to show in which towns and in what manner they intended to build the temples. First, he said that he would help in the restoration of the two temples and asked, Mazapati? Which Mazapati? asked the big brat. O Sundara Murthy, who calls out to Swami with his voice and sings, that is the Malapati on which the Lord is sitting. Said the villager. What incident was that? When asked by the farmer's wife, the farmer said. Sundara Murthy Swami was on a pilgrimage to the Chola lands when he had to cross a river. He crossed the river and started to go beyond. Then, beautiful. Forget me. A voice asked. Sundara Murthy was startled and realized that it was the Lord's voice that possessed him. Looking at the disciples next to him, is there a Shiva temple somewhere recently, he asked. Yes, Swami. There is a Shiva temple in the village of Mazapati under the cover of those Kana trees, said the disciples. Soon Sundara Murthy went there. 
there was a small temple under the cover of blossoming kana trees. Sundaramurthy went there and had darshan of Swami and sang with heart. As he had stopped himself that day, he marvelled at the grace that called him today. Swami! Will I forget them? What question did you ask? Who else will I forget myself and think of? By setting up the concept. He sang that. Mother! Still the temple is a small temple under the cover of Kana trees. That is why we demand that the restoration work should start immediately. So be it! said Champion Mathavi. All Workadia and another person with him came a little ahead and were listening attentively to everything that happened.